Nice lunch. Sorry? Ah, I saw you were catching up with Tanya. Yes. How delightful to see her again after all that time. <laughs> did you hear she and I have broken up? I did. My condolences. Oh, I hope you don't believe I was acting inappropriately. Oh, not at all. I know you two are friends. We are. And if she's feeling half as rich as I am about the breakup, she's going to need all the support and friends she can get. The parting wasn't amicable. We both made some silly mistakes. And, you know, things are different now. You want to get back together? She won't even talk to me. I suppose it's my fault. You know, I mean, I could have made more of an effort, fought harder when she broke it off. I guess you never know what you've got till it's gone, eh? Give her some time. She might come around. Yes. Because Rachel's full of it. Hey. She promised that all patients would have rooms. Obviously, it wasn't an easy fix. Well, did she even try, or was she too busy sucking up to all her lovely private patients? Just ease up a little, eh? I'm not happy with how today's gone either. OK, so let's go and have it out with Rachel. It's day one for the private wing. There's bound to be a glitch or two. Wake up, Chris. It's a taste of how things are going to be, unless we take a stand and make it very clear to Rachel that private If Callum backed off and let Rachel to get Excuse on with it... Excuse me? Callum's not the villain here. Rachel's the number cruncher. It's always been the bottom line before people. And now she's got something even yummier, profits. So public patients like David King can rot while she's Enough, OK? And... You've been grossly unfair to Rachel. I talked uh, to her to and... yourself. Come... Rachel is clearly in the wrong, and yet here you are leaping to her defence, and we both know why. Do we? Maybe I'm not the best person to be talking to Rachel about this. Which is one of the reasons I got into nursing. <laughs> Tracy. Uh, this is Tracy, my fiance I told you about. Hi. Hi. I better get back to it. Thank you. Okay. Remember, you can call me. Sure thing. That seemed to go well. He's a good listener and he made some good points. You were right. I needed to talk to someone. Well, let that be a lesson to you. You should always listen to me. When's your next appointment? There isn't one. I thought you said you liked him. I did, but we covered everything. That's not how counselling works. It's an ongoing process. I did what I needed to. Talked it out and got some perspective. Mission accomplished. Thank you. We'll keep you in overnight for the swelling to go down and to monitor pain relief, and then we'll operate tomorrow morning. Thank you, Doctor. My pleasure. Maya will transfer you. Whoop. David King, age 32, found collapsed on his deck by his neighbour. He's still foggy on the details, so we don't know whether he fainted or fell or how long he'd been there for. I know this guy. He discharged himself AMA this morning. He said his wife could take care of him. Well, apparently he lives alone. Uh, he's hypothermic, 1035, acutely unwell, showing symptoms of uh, dyspnea, pallor, syncope, and BP's 90 over 56. OK, let's get him to recess, please. Let's go. I told you, leave Mum to me. I'll wear her down. How are you going to do that? Logic, common sense, good old-fashioned nagging. Well, it could work. The love between two people should be celebrated. <laughs> and you're choosing an age-old tradition, standing before God and declaring your love for each other. Yvonne's a woman of faith, I thought, so I'm struggling to understand why she's opposed. This marriage is more a mutually beneficial business transaction. Uh, Tanya? What? We're entering into a contract, yes. But our marriage is real, and any other concerns can be kept within the family, OK? OK. Well, it's one person who won't be invited to the wedding. That may be wise. I think he's too hung up on his own relationship woes to celebrate the union of others. What do you mean, hung up? He's not over here. Did he say that? He didn't need to. It's obvious he still cares. Oh, he didn't care that much when he was off sleeping with other women. Libby. That would be the mistake he mentioned. Not that I condone that sort of behaviour, but he did seem genuine in his remorse.
Do you know where Maxwell is? Should I? In recess, trying to save a man's life. Well, that's good, isn't it? Except this man just discharged himself from here because he was given a bed in a corridor and he couldn't bear to stay another night, which he needed to. Personally, I don't blame him. If he discharged himself, there's not much we could have done. We could have given him a proper bed. But no, you had to keep admitting private patients. Which do you think will make bigger headlines? Private patients turned away or a public patient suffering a cardiac arrest due to inadequate care? Well, like Callum said, there was bound to oh, be something. Stop hiding behind him. The Rachel I know is stronger than that. She wouldn't have let this happen. Don't do this. Do what? Point out the obvious? Make it about us. Or is that what this whole argument is about? There's no point arguing about us because we both feel exactly the same. Don't tell me how I feel. You know you're with the wrong man. I can see it every time you look at me. It's time you admitted it to yourself. Come in. Sorry, I didn't know you were... Oh, Chris was just leaving. Yes, but we'll talk later. What? 